who has already been discovered now, is Barney the dinosaur. He's a six foot tall, purple and green Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course, who's taken America by storm. Here he's captured the hearts and imagination of American children and his show, Barney and Friends, is the highest rated children's programme on American television. Well, yesterday at London Zoo, a special audience got a preview of Barney's show. But will he have the same effect on British children, I wonder? To all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Everybody who rides in a car needs to wear a seatbelt. Driving to my school, I buckle my belt. Driving to my school, I buckle my belt. Driving to my school, I buckle my belt. Buckle up my seatbelt. They're so wobbly and funny and silly and a bit wobbly. Yes, I love funny. I like Bonnie. I like Bonnie. By the power of make-believe, I make Barney my king. Oh, king Barney, yeah. oh goody! <laughs> Why, I feel just like old King Cole. <laughs> Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his ball, and he called for his fiddlers three. Dance with the fiddlers, dance with the fiddlers, dance with the fiddlers three. Bonnie is, is our, our friend. friend. Well, he's made friends already, isn't that nice to know? Barney and his creator Cheryl Leach has come along to tell us a bit more about um, what the incredible phenomenon is that he is. See what I mean? Hello, Cheryl. Hi. Hi. Is, is he going to catch on with the British children, do you think? I think so. I think really children from all over the world, if they're two years old, three years old, are very much the same. So we're very hopeful that Barney will be a big hit here. Yeah, and he's sort of educational, isn't he? I mean, this is yes. the essence. We really call it edutainment. He's part educational and part entertainment. Edutainment, I like uh, that. can only have come from America, can't it? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get the idea in the first place? Well, I was a mom at home with a very active two-year-old, and I was always looking for something to keep him busy, but something that I felt good about. And I thought that there were probably millions of other parents like me. So I came up with the idea to do a series that would hold the attention but yet entertain and captivate that preschool audience. How, how big an influence do you think uh, children's programs have on children? I mean, you probably gather we were talking earlier um, about the two young boys who allegedly have been influenced by a television program here and gone and beaten up someone's house next door. But what do you think of that? Well, I think television has a dramatic influence on children, and that's one thing we're proudest about Barney's success, is that we believe that the success of Barney is going to be a catalyst for change in children's programming and the Barney programming is very nonviolent. In fact, there was an incident in the States where a child woke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and smelled smoke. She crawled into her parents' bedroom and woke them up and said, Barney says if you smell smoke, you've got to go get your parents or your mommy and really save the family. That's right. I read about that. And she knew also to crawl down low yes. where the air is good. That's said. right. That's, That's right. right. God. I think we ought to meet Barney. If he's okay, well, so he's well. right here, and he brought a surprise <laughs> this morning. Hi, Hi. Barney. How are you? <laughs> oh, we're very well. <laughs> well, quite overwhelmed. The children in Britain seem to notice that you're very wobbly. Oh, wobbly? <laughs> it's just my funny walk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I like your colour scheme as well. I think you're beautifully decked Yeah, you decked would. Out. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Barney knew that you both have young children, so he yes. brought a surprise for you, and part of the oh. things are here on the table. Oh, oh, oh you love to give presents. You... Oh, gosh, it'll go down well. Let's see what it is. Well, it might be empty, <laughs> mightn't it? The, the There's some of the oh, table, you see. Barney a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. 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 That's the box. That's I see. So Barney is box. going to literally take over, is he? We're going to see him everywhere. Well, he's <laughs> going to be part of the family over here, we hope, but not yeah. take over. I think the experts at Yale University said it was sort of a near-perfect program for preschool children. Yes, it's a great study. Well, it makes us feel really good because I'm a mom, but I also have a degree in education, a master's degree. Yeah. So with every uh, episode with Barney and Friends, there's an educational structure to it. And we have a team back at home who has an educational focus as well. So for Yale University to find something made us feel really good about what we're doing. Well, what, do you, just... what do you call the dinosaur with only one eye? 
Uh, well, now, what do I call a dinosaur with any one eye? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's dreadful, but well. any good dinosaur <laughs> jokes we'd like to hear from you. 021 oh, 609 9000. And coming up in a moment, top chef Stephen Saunders dispels the myths surrounding shellfish. He shows us how to cook them, crack them and eat them. That's next.